Today, I would like to share with you the creation of non-destructive breaking animations in C4D. The purpose of recording the instructional video is because I don't see any similar content to share. All parameters can be changed at will. If you need C4D project files, you can get them on the Patreon website. And I'm going to show you how that works. First, create the text line segment. Modify the text alignment to center and set the text and font. Select text in the objects panel and press Alt to add a loft object. Continue creating the matrix object. Modify the mode of the object panel to object, which is the previously created text line segment. Distribution mode, choose uniform. While selecting the loft object, press and hold the keyboard Alt to create a new Voronoi fracture. Delete the default point generation in the source panel. Assign the matrix object to the source parameter. Increase the number of points in the matrix. Select the Voronoi fracture object and switch to the geometric glue panel. Check enable. Select the bonding type as cluster and set the appropriate amount. The more points in the matrix, the better the fragmentation effect. Please pay attention to this detail. Now the text is just a faceted polygon. First reconstruct the mesh from the fragments. Check adaptive counting and increase density. Then you need to increase the thickness of the fragments. Select remesh and hold Alt to add the thickened object. The thickness distance is modified according to the needs. The broken object has no chamfer, we need to add a chamfer deformer to specify the thickness object. Finally, you need to add the fracture object to the fragment again and add random motion. Objects panel select fracture objects and add random effects. The parameters of the XY axis are zeroed and the parameters of the Z axis are retained. The fields of the random effect add time rate is consistent with the project timeline, set to 90. Continue the ship random field and specify the offset mask to the time. Set the noise loop time point to 90 and the animation speed to 10%. Play timeline watch animation effects. Now the random animation doesn't loop. The reason is that the shape of the time domain defaults to none. Change it to a triangle and play it again to confirm that it loops seamlessly. Finally, add a plane effect to color the fragments. An effect position keep default color setting. Assign the random field created earlier to the field of the plane defector. The random mode needs to be changed, otherwise it will keep flashing. Change the color mode to ramp and read the default color library. And we're done with non-destructive broken text. You can change the text font and content at will. I hope this technical sharing of mine is helpful for you to learn C4D. If you want to learn more practical and interesting C4D content, you can join my patron website. This will greatly encourage me to continue to share more teaching content. Thank you all.